I think the reason why I like them so much is not any single factor. It's the fact that everybody here cares. How are you? Good. And see you. you can feel that Welcome from back. the food, Thank you. from the conversation, <laughs> and from every single experience. It's a sunny day in spring. I'm going to go back to my favorite restaurant today. It's called Pavillon London. They just won one Michelin star. And I can't wait to see what's on the menu. How are you? Félicitations. How are you? You, you saw the, the Michelin uh, plate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It came yesterday. Yeah? Oh, yeah. congratulations. You look great. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling? Very yeah. happy, right? How long does it take for you to get a start? Like uh, six months. Yeah. Six months? Six months, guys. Six. The new anointed Michelin <laughs> star chef. <laughs> you happy? Very, very happy. So we have to keep the Michelin star. You will keep uh, it. You will get another one very soon. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Both. Quality, love, in the food, in the service, come as well with the quality of life. So I'm very happy to be back. Uh, it's good to see the chefs and see the team. They're very happy that they got the one star. I think I'll have something new to try on. What's this? So this is a little uh, crackers. Uh, it's crispy. Uh, inside there is uh, nori with a tuna tartare, a seasoned with a sesame and a bit of wasabi and a seared foie gras on top. This is new. I've never tried it. <laughs> Do all that once if you can. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think you should eat it like this. You gave you up everything yeah. at the same time. It's very nice because the it's crispy on the outside and the beef tartare is at the right it's the, the right salty level and then you have something I think the frog on the top. It tastes very lovely. And is a nuts. And the soup pastry we have bachelor sauce and palms and chicken. I have never tried this, no. It's really good. It's amazing. Underneath there is a confit celery with a bit of uh, uh, foie gras. And on top there is a red millet uh, carpaccio just under the leaf. The leaf is a shizo leaf uh, seasoned with a sauce made with uh, shizo and uh, celery with a bit of uh, ponzu. It smells like spring. Yeah, it's it's really fresh. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, with a bit of uh, lemon juice. It smells like spring just on a spring day. It's perfect. Fresh and it's special. The, the leaf matches well with all of the all of the taste in blended in this dish. The eggs. So it's a poached eggs. So with a a bit of uh, bacon with and uh, chives. chives, and uh, inside there is uh, edelflower vinegar to give a bit of uh, acidity ah. and uh, parmesan emulsion. On the brunch menu, it's the perfect item. Mm. Ah, How are you? Good. good to see you. Yeah, good to see you again. Welcome back. Thank you. It's perfect. Try it. You know, because of the egg yolk, it's still flowing, and together with the vinegar and the parmesan cheese, it's just small and rich, but light. A dish that I really like, put in a black pepper oil. So basically, we infuse the black pepper yeah. uh, in oil and we cook the monkfish uh, with it. So yeah. it's a bit peppery. The sauce, it's a beurre blanc with smoked pike roe, trout roe, and cocoa beans inside. Oh, wow. And uh, we add on top a little salad made with herbs. So there is sorrel, of chevrolet, a bit of fennel. And uh, there is a green oil made with uh, white garlic. So this is the monkfish. It's a little bit of coconut. It's cooked so well. It's a little bit it tender, but also it gives you the texture to chew a little bit. And then when you eat it, you have the sweetness of the fish. Because of the juice, it has a little bit of sour acidity taste. It's fine. Perfect. It's really, really good. No wonder chefs like it so much. This is our Wellington. Yeah. Uh, so this Wellington, it's a traditional uh, way. We put uh, mushroom luxel, uh, the crème the flavor with parsley and uh, edge uh, beef uh, 36 days.
voilà, voilà. So it's... You see, here there is the beef, yeah. mushroom duxel uh -huh. with a chicken mousse. Yeah. Here there is a green part, is a crepe that maintain the humidity, the juicity of the, the meat inside. Oh, wow. Uh, flavor with parsley and all around uh, the puff pastry. Oh. A bit of beef juice. How are you, madame? Voilà. Bon appétit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bon Thank appétit. Smell it. <laughs> Smells good. Looks good. So good. The pastry on the outside, the cabbage, and the mushroom, and the beef. They're just dancing in your mouth. Mm. And also, it looks heavy, right? It's actually not that heavy as well. Absolutely. It's really, really good. Come here for their lunch. They, the brunch menu on the Saturday they have this on their brunch. Oh. So the revamp, so you have the porch room um, with orange marmalades inside in the orange. Uh, Arlette of Kubebe paper. It's a paper from Indonesia. And on the side has a sauce. Uh, it's a sauce uh, with the extraction of walnut, mint, vanilla and Kubebe paper. Thank you. Oh. So classic French toast. Th this one, that's why. I try too much. Uh, I'll on the top, and this one is an uh, Uru ice cream. So Uru is a fruit, French Polynesia. The name is uh, bread, food bread. It's like a flavor of exotic, a little bit of mango. On the top, you have a small uh, mango with pine nuts, uh, vanilla wurst. So I'll just add a scoop on the top. And French toast is bread, bread is Sunday, Sunday is brunch, uh, or weekend, and we have just a flavor of the bread, like uh, home, when you, you have your roast, your bread on the Sunday. Thank you. This rhubarb thing, it's so fresh, so, so fresh. Uh, the rhubarb with the sorbet. It's my type of dessert, it's very fresh. Depends of the, the work, the more you work, the faster it is. Yeah. We work hard. So. Hard work, always pays. We have nice beef tartare as well. The, 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 the other one, okay. I forgot in English. Well, I said try French, I don't know. <laughs> I forgot in English. <laughs>